welcome back as you can tell from the title today i'm going to be reacting to this video that safari posted that has been going viral and making a lot of noise on social media um he is telling his side with this whole situation with him and erica because you know she's telling the world he's a deadbeat pretty much i don't know if anything has happened recently with them because i don't really keep up with them but so i don't know if this is some old stuff he is responding to or if they're currently going through some stuff on social media right now i have no idea but he has decided to make a youtube telling his side of the story and he posted some footage from his security cameras of erica breaking in the house and knocking glass over and got the kids stepping on it barefoot and it is just making erica look crazy so she's been going off on her social media and yeah I need to see what he said. I saw parts of the video, like when she got the ladder <laughs> and hopped over the gate and when she knocked all the stuff over and left and then the kids were following her, stepping in the glass, but I need to see the full thing. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna watch this whole video. It's about 30 minutes. Even though Safari is nowhere near innocent, I know Erica is crazy. She is a maniac. She's nuts. So yeah, we gonna get into this. sometimes but then you know um i'm pretty good at just brushing things off but you know people who know me and especially know my situation <clears throat> they're like yo how long are you gonna stay quiet and i just you know i be i be sparing people okay i just but then at the same let's get to it if it's reported, it's news, and that is the truth, and it's real. But it's in a situation where somebody wants to have full control of every single thing, and they can't have control, it it's just not gonna be a, a easy transition, you know. Especially when you know the the, the um, other person is just used to it being one way or very controlling or still wanting the whole family dynamic and it's not there anymore but mm. I love my kids and it's gotten to the point that I I have to put myself first because I'm either going to end up in jail or worse because I'm dealing with someone who is just whose anger management is just non-existent when I first moved to Florida non-existent I remember I, I got a two bedroom condo and the first time I had my kids come over there after my divorce and I started the whole okay visitation we and having my kids for the days I was having them when my kids first came over in my condo made me so depressed because I was like, yo, 
they just, I felt like they were so confined, and I didn't feel good about it. And I said, yo, I got to get a house. I need a house. I can't have my kids running around in this condo and, and, and hurting themselves. Right, huh? and just, it's just not being a, a fit to raise, you know, two children in a co-parenting setup. And I found my house. And I'm gonna just I'm gonna be all the way blunt and straight up with it. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I got this house because of my kids. I got this house for my kids. Seeing my kids be here running around is the best feeling, you know. You know, when you have children with somebody who at the end of the day it, it shouldn't even have happened because I should have just noticed certain things like came to parenting, you know, when you, you're with someone for three years and they have a child and you probably saw the child three to four times because mm. the child was put off to go live with somebody else and you know you don't, you kind of look past it when you don't have kids or you're not thinking about that, I never even like was like, yo, why doesn't your son live here? And then when you finally get to have a conversation with the son and find out why, it's it's crazy. You know, imagine speaking to a child who's of age and knows what's going on. He's 16 years old. And he says... If I ever had to live with my mother, I would kill myself. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't make that up, you know. And it's, it, it it sucks that I got her like. Did Spice say that her son don't like her? And that's why she got so mad. Campaign and somebody who gets such a high on. But at the same time, Safari probably could have told her that. Choosing what kids you mm. want to, you know, have on the forefront and get. But according to her, that's his choice. I don't. So, honestly, I don't know her kid's situation. I'm not about to make no assumptions. I don't know. And thought that, you know, maybe I could help him make things better. But when you aren't with somebody and it doesn't work out. And the two of you are just like in a weird space and everything is a fight. Especially in front of the kids. Like, so she I'm broke into his house while the kids my are there. Kids She's have, doing this in front of the kids. Like that's crazy. Ever seen me upset. My kids have never heard me yell. Hey, when I call the cops get to me. The kids are in the car. just not in me but you know on the other hand the other side they don't operate or think the way I do and mm. when when I have my kids and someone is pretty much trying to police and parent and like watch every single thing I'm doing and call oh who's there what's going on it's just so unhealthy so excessive yeah. To the point where it just creates a lot of issues. Like, you can't pick and choose when it's okay to say, okay, the kids are good. And then if we're not, you know, in a good space, then it's a, it's an issue, you know. I've taken my kids to Jamaica. If I was such a bad parent, n nobody's going to let a man take the kids to Jamaica by myself. I didn't have no help. 
I don't want a biscuit for it. I did it, you know. It just it just creates such a level of toxicity that it's better to just be like, you know what? I'm gonna deal with this through the courts, and when this thing gets sorted out, how it's supposed to be sorted out, then okay, we'll figure it out. So for the past, you know, few months. That's what I've been dealing with when it came to, you know, looking for lawyers and just trying to figure out this whole thing because my original standing order for this child support and the visitation and all that, I, everything, it originated from Georgia. We moved to Florida. When we moved to Florida, everything has to get transferred over. They both moved to Florida? It just got transferred over, like, this week. So now I get to find out what this new setup is going to be because I refuse to go to her house to pick up the case. I refuse. I'm not. She it's just too unstable, too unpredictable. And the only way I would do it is either a police precinct or if the kids are somewhere else and I'm picking them up from there. But everything is just done off of spite and being malicious intent on the other end. Me, I don't move like that. I don't live like that. Well, you nah. Know, look at me. He like the Pope, though. I don't look like I'm carrying stress. Safari so likes to like play mental games. I don't look like I'm losing weight. I don't look like like I'm just harboring so much hate inside me that it physically begins to show. That doesn't mean you. And know. I'm a father. I'm a grown ass man. When I have my kids in there with I mean, me, you got your history with your exes too, Safari. You not in So I'm not gonna have anybody acting like they need to know every single thing going on when i was filming love and hip-hop miami and i had my kids here calling oh, oh, where, where the kids at what they do oh you better not be filming with the kids oh. first of all I, i've never filmed with the kids ever by myself i love hip-hop they're not a part of my storyline that doesn't make sense to me then i'm not gonna be in the park pushing the kids playing oh yeah oh, like of course they wanted to see me film with them but you know both parents have to sign off on that and you know that wasn't happening <laughs> and um you know the last the last instant of when we had a transfer with the kids it was she called me and said, hey, I'm in the area. I can save you a trip. I can come pick the kids up. And um, That's a little crazy. Um, uh, I'm tired and I don't want to do the drive. And it was like really like early in the morning or whatever. So I'm like, all right, cool. I let her in, lay down in the kids' room. One of the kids is in there. Next the kids is laying with me in my room. And when she gets up, she's like, she wants to have a conversation with me. I'm like, okay, let's talk. As soon as she starts talking, it's yelling, screaming, all that. I said, yo, look, I'm not doing that. And if you can't talk to me normally in front of the kids where the kids don't realize that we're having a discussion yeah, about they something be doing all that, that we're not agreeing on, then I'm not having it. Oh, I don't give a half, blah, 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 all this yelling, whatever. So I'm like, okay, forget it. Just, you know, you hear, pick them up, you can leave. And in my face, all of that, blah, 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 and all that. So I'm like, all right, you don't want to leave. I call the cops. I'm on the phone with the cops. I'm telling them, hey, you know, before this escalates, I would like police presence here because I want her to leave. Filming me calling the cops. Okay, I'm calling the cops. You're filming me. You're the one with the anger management problem just going off. So break stuff up in the house, has the kids running over glass, breaking stuff up outside. But wait, is this the same video of her climbing over the gate? If he let her in, why does she need the ladder? I'm confused about that part. Unless that was her coming back or something? I don't know. After that, I just was like, you know what? If I can't pick up my kids in a place that is like a drop-off point or a police precinct, I'm not picking them up because I'm not going to her house ever again in life my daughter she has an ipad i'm blocked on the ipad mm. my daughter's four years old she doesn't know how to block people she doesn't even know how to text um right like what is she childish just like bs like that so i'm like okay um, all the, the next time i got my kids after that oh no prior before that 
when um, I went and I was going to get a restraining order because, you know, she's doing stuff like showing up in my crib 5 o'clock in the morning, pulling out a ladder, hopping the fence. Oh, my God, what is that? Oh okay, so that's not what the same thing. Okay. Because the way they put it together on Twitter, I thought this was the same day, but okay, it's not. Banging on my windows. My son's birthday party was like... Like, why would he let you in? Go? Like, it was a while after that, and then when I went to the party, they said, hey, we want a restraining order, but... um. You went to a party, she was there, so you, you must not be in that much fear. So I have to drop that case. This is me having to have two different lawyers. So this is two separate lawyers for, the, for, for one lawyer for that and another lawyer for this whole family court thing. And next time I got them, it was for, you know, beginning well, of the summer. And I was they like, have a Yo, point. I'll keep the kids for the summer. Was you showing up to like try to know, poke? My mother and my sister's here. They love being around them, they want to be around them. That's the issue. I can't reach my daughter's iPad. Pickup situation isn't sorted out. So when I finally do get them, I sign them up for summer camp. She gets so mad at me for signing them up for summer camp. There's a summer camp by my house. She lives 40 minutes away from me. Summer camp. I'm like, cool, I got them. Let so me did she move to Miami because, because he here. did? My mother's like, yo, you can't just be having them here playing whatever. Yeah. whatever. She's like, they need yeah. some, you know, structure. Signed them up for summer camp. I was like, you know what? That's a good idea. I signed them up for the summer camp. I paid for it. I paid two thousand dollars to put them in summer camp. They went to summer camp for three days because she had such an issue with me putting them in the summer camp by my house. Okay, what else? And I'm gonna show y'all because it's like I'm not just talking, just to talk, but put them in summer camp. This was the first month. This is what it was supposed to be. And okay, it just was such a control thing. And it created, like, like it created so much drama. Oh, drop the kids off. Oh, you put it in the summer camp. Oh. You walk in. This is Maji's room. Ain't no, ain't no deadbeat doing this. Deadbeats ain't doing this. My, daughter, my, my daughter's room is bigger than, than some adults' rooms. And it's just so insane to me how people just oh yeah you're a deadbeat yo I know about real deadbeats and this situation is all about control this woman texts a naked picture of me to my mother and my sister because she wanted to I think it's because I know your son is such a liar your son, I'm pretty sure your it's son's not telling you lies. what's really going on between us and all this other nonsense okay me and you are still, you know, having a relationship, and that's what we're with. Thank God. That's she is thing. crashing like, you know, out. I'm great about that. Bad. And, and, and there's absolutely nothing. Why would you send a anymore. naked picture to his mom and to prove that y'all still sleeping together? Taking naked pictures and sending it to my mother and my sister to do what and prove what? My mother and my sister are the most least problematic <laughs> people on earth. My mother's not one of those mothers. She's not like a TV mother who's here acting right. Erica, you crashing out, my mom. Ignorant nonsense. Like she's going out real so fast. Calm and zen and she looked crazy on Jocelyn's cabaret. Right? She getting and small. They do, like my sister and my mom, they are in the holistic field. They're very everything about them is zen, herbs, teas, spiritual. And you're sending naked pictures of me to my mother and my sister. That's insane. For what? And it's like, that's the type of nonsense I have to deal with. I cannot ever pick up my kids in peace. Everything is just long and drawn out. And it's just so unfair that when a woman says something, no matter what, it's like, oh, it's the man's fault. People are like, but you you, you didn't know. And I'm kind of like, you know what? Well, I, I thought I could make somebody not be and out. It just... Okay, what else happened? I need gas money, but I don't get paid till next week. What should I do? Don't even stress about it. Just download it. Relate to this. And it's like, they're like, yo, when you're dealing with a woman who makes you being a parent, just they just make because they want a reaction. I mean, my point, like, hey, guys, look, um, 
no, this isn't true. This is what's about it. Like her, her own, her own family is is going after her for child support because she doesn't do anything to help her son. So then to try to make it seem like I'm some deadbeat and I'm not right. trying to be there for my kids, I would love to be there for my kids. But it would be nice for you to get out the way. Let me be a father. Let me take my kids and go wherever I want with them. My kids are never in danger. They don't ever have to worry about nothing. This is not about money. This is not about child support. My kids love me. I just want to say, like, you know, doing shit like this, this don't benefit me. Mm. This don't help me. Like, I don't like this kind of attention. What a plot twist. I never say anything, but this thing has been going on for so long that it's like, how much longer am I going to let this slide? You know, it's, 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 it's so much, it's just so much things to list and name, like, I would have to sit there with a pen and pad and write down every single incident and all that, but I don't, this is, I'm doing this one and one time only, like, yeah, he really don't need to say nothing else after this, all the fake Instagram pages, Harassing oh, my mother, we already know that's true. If I'm talking <laughs> she to already got caught doing that. All of a sudden, the girl starts getting harassed from the same fake Instagram names, and it's like, yo, it, 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 it takes so much energy to to like be like that, and mm-hmm. I don't have that type of energy. I, even doing this right now is giving me such a headache. And I'm not the kind of person to get headaches. My head is pounding right now. Just talking about all this. But, you know, at the end of the day, I'm going to let, you know, God is going to do what God is going to do. And that's going to be that. Like, this ain't no, it's not a storyline. I'm not on loving, you know, not seeing my kids. Because, you know, whether it's right or wrong, I'm just standing on yo. I'm not going to your house to pick up the kids. I don't. Why doesn't he have full custody? Somebody from your family's house that that uh, I don't have no issue with going. If he showed the course these videos, that, but like I'm, I'm not. Oh, I'm what not did I say? Precinct or somebody from your family's house that that uh, I don't have no issue with going over going over there, and that's that. But like. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Going, I'm not putting myself in any position to crash out, potentially snap, lose my like. Come on, because there's people who be in situations like this. Everyone's not able to like be this cool. This shit is training. When you get to a certain age in life, like yo, drop business on the internet, on social media, okay. too, it? And, and 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 telling them shit and saying it's like yo, it's corny, yo. I'm just trying to have my my time and my setup with my kids. I, my mother and my sister would love for me to bring them to New York. Okay. I I mean that is crazy. That's a lot. Um. That definitely makes Erica look crazy. And yeah, she's on social media responding, but like there is no coming back. Erica Miller has just completely ruined her career. Period. That's why she owns Zeus now. I mean, girl, how are you getting dragged by Safari? How is the public on Safari's side? We know Safari ain't nowhere near innocent, but in this situation, she looks very crazy. But I'm just wondering how he doesn't have full custody. Like, why have you not showed those videos to the courts? That video alone of her knocking the glass over and then the kids walking over it behind her, and then the, the little girl screaming about how she doesn't want to go to her mom's house. And then the video of her arguing with the girl with the kids in the car. Like, how does he not have full custody? I, I mean, I don't really know how this stuff works. But I feel like that's like a lot of evidence to prove that she is unfit.
coupled with all of the things we have seen on reality TV, coupled with the fact that she doesn't have custody of her other child. Like, I don't understand how he doesn't easily have full custody at this point. Like, what is going on? Now, of course, there are three sides to every story, his side, her side, and the truth. But this is a lot. Like, this was pretty convincing. Um, I do think... Now, okay, Safari was definitely manipulative in the situation. And, you know, he definitely wasted her time. You know, he married her but didn't really want to be married. He didn't really want a family like he thought he did. So he kind of wasted her time, which I guess turned her crazy. Um... But she is, she is just unhinged for this. Like, this is crazy. The fact that she really just has her kids looking at this type of violence, she fighting him, she knocking stuff over, she's arguing, like, all of this in front of the kid, I would have never expected. Like, that is crazy. And um, I'm glad he put that video out. It kind of makes me look at their situation a little bit differently you know you can tell he doesn't really care for her and she would make it seem like you know he would go and party and do other things over seeing his kids which i kind of believed for a little bit but yikes this is not good for her um yeah I don't know if I'm on a side because, again, I don't think Safari is innocent, but I do think that at this point, she is dead wrong in this situation, and she is what we would consider a bitter baby mama because Safari no longer wants her. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this in the comments down below. I think he deserves full custody at this. I mean, I don't know if he can handle full custody because like I just said, he likes to party and all of that stuff. So I don't know if he can really handle that, but he needs it. She, they, they don't even like being around her. Like it just seems unsafe to be around her. She is completely unhinged and that sucks. Uh, but yeah, y'all let me know what y'all thought about that in the comments down below. Stay happy, healthy, and all of that good stuff. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.